Hello everybody and welcome to Community Mod. Yes, Community Mod. I said Community Mod, not Community Craft. That's because we have a mod pack now. We have a modded server. See, check it out. We got NEI and I've got a steel helmet, bronze chest plate, and lapis boots, which is freaking awesome. I actually really, really like the color. It's really hard to see. Uh, hang on. There we go. Okay. The boots there. I really like the color of the lapis armor. It's just really good looking. But yes, okay, so there's a story behind this mod pack. It started out watching an episode of Beef, uh, Vintage Beef, play Pixelmon. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for building material, aren't I? Which is outside. Because I need to build a house. <laughs> I've been living in a hole in the wall for a while now. Anyways, okay, so... It started out with, uh, you know, watching Beef play Pixelmon. I like the blue wood. I've got to do something with the blue and the white wood. I don't know what yet, though. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm like, oh, I actually quite like Pokemon. So I should do that. I should, I should, you know, make a Pixelmon server. How many people would... Uh, how many people would join me so i asked the guys on the server and they're like oh yeah we join we join okay if i'm slowing down it's because i'm counting the number of blocks that i'm placing because i don't want to i'm doing things for a reason i don't know why i'm sure there's a reason somewhere i just don't know it uh anyways uh so i asked the guys if they wanted a pixelmon server and yeah, most of them said yes, some of them said no. But it was pretty cool, so we did, uh, we, I set up the Pixelmon server, and we started playing. We got really into it. And uh, I wasn't really paying attention to the game itself. I was paying attention to uh, building. I actually had gotten to the point where I had enough stuff that I was just building. And I'm like... Would anybody be upset if I added another mod, like uh, Bibliocraft? Y'all know Bibliocraft. It's a building mod, has a bunch of really cool stuff to go with the vanilla items. So I'm like, would anybody be upset if I put in Bibliocraft? And they're like, no, 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 that would be cool, that would be cool. I'm like, awesome. So I go to put in Bibliocraft, and then somebody says, well, why don't we add this mod? And then this mod, and then this mod. And I went, well, why don't we just make our own mod pack then? Everybody throw out your ideas for a mod pack. And, uh, yeah, so we started putting together a mod pack. I spent two or three days just digging through the mods going, okay, this one will work. This one won't work with Pixelmon. This one definitely won't work with Pixelmon because you need mobs to do it and all that fun stuff and it just kind of snowballed is that centered it looks centered to me and uh eventually it got to the point where you know i'm like all right you know what i'm done researching this stuff for now let's put together what we've got and see if i can get it to work at this point if you can't tell, we don't have any Pokemon on here, so obviously at some point we lost Pixelmon. And that's because just too many mods would not work with Pixelmon. Um, what did I come in here for? Oh, let's check the uh, spare blocks chest and let's see if there's anything cool for a floor. Like that. Ooh, I want to use the quarried stone because the quarry stone is awesome. You can make these quarried blocks, but they're more for um, outside. These marble blocks that come with uh, Project Red, they're actually pretty awesome. Let's use those for the floor. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, we got rid of Pixelmon because too, too many mods required uh, it, the server not to be on peaceful mode. And Pixelmon is a game you play on pe peaceful. There's a hole under my house. So... You know, after I, I, I basically said that, I'm like, you know what? I'm done fiddling, researching mods for right now. Let's just put them all together and see if we can get them to work. 
And the answer to that question is no. I could not get them to work at all. Seriously, I put them together, it, nothing. <laughs> it just kept crashing over and over and over again. And uh, one of the mods was causing it, and I forget which mod it was that was causing it. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, what if I get rid of that mod? Well, then another mod broke. Well, what if I get rid of the uh, that mod? You know, get what we had working and then fiddle with settings and stuff like that to put everything together. And it just snowballed, and I got sick of it. It just didn't work. I could not do it. And Turcote uh, decided or uh, offered to do it. He's like, oh, I can do that stuff. I'm like, oh, really? Well, it's your project. So he created, or no, no, no. There was a part before that. Um, yeah, I, I said, screw it. You know, this building our own mod pack thing just isn't working for us. Um, you know, let's, let's try one of the other mod packs that are out there. Uh, like the, the B team mod pack had just come out. The, the Attack of the B-Team mod pack. So we started playing that for a little bit. And I liked it. I really, really did. There are a few things that I don't like about the mod pack. But overall, I like the mod pack. I got a door. I know, I know. I'm, I'm distracting myself. But uh, so overall, I like the mod pack, and there's a couple of things that uh, we actually kept from that mod pack because we liked it. But there was a problem. Uh, one of the other people on the server, Flame, I'm going to have to go track down sand. I don't have anywhere near enough gold. Glass. Hmm. Can I make glass any other way? Oh, no, wait. That's use. Um, hang on. It's R? Yes. Smelting, smelting. Squeezer. This, wait, what? This doesn't make sand. Why Why is this in my how to make section of NEI if it doesn't make sand? Or glass. Oh, no, I see. Okay, okay. This was almost invisible. I couldn't see it. Okay, so, uh, but I need a squeezer to do it, and I don't have a squeezer. All right, anyway, so uh, I need to find a desert. And I shall show off one of our mods. And that mod is Morph. Basically what happens with this horrible cracking noise, we transform into anything we kill. Now one of the problems I had with that mod was that you could transform into other players. So we disabled that. And obviously in the upper right hand corner, which I've totally forgotten even existed up until this point, is the Ray's mini map, or no, not Ray's. This is Zan's mini map, uh, basically voxel map, just an earlier version of voxel map before they called it voxel. So it's Zan's mini map. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, we were on the attack of the B team. But the problem that came with the attack of the B team mod pack was that one of our one of the people on our server, Flame couldn't use it it kept crashing on him it wouldn't work every time he tried to connect it would just crash and die i know there's plenty of sand right around here but i'm actually looking for a desert because i just want to get a lot of sand and we can take a look around and see all this stuff in around here i might just give up on the desert if i don't find it in the next few minutes i don't i don't oh i know where a desert is. it's over by spawn there's one over by spawn so, uh, yeah, Flame couldn't play it, and, uh, let's see, it was, uh, oh, oof. I can't even remember who's all parts of this anymore. This is a terrible story. I'm a terrible storyteller, I'll tell you that much. Uh, Cosmo, I believe it was. Uh, hey, Flame. Uh, Cosmo, I believe it was, asked for computer craft. Now, Computer Craft's not in the Attack of the B-Team mod pack. And then I'm like, yeah, I really want Computer Craft. I miss Computer Craft. Computer Craft is fun. So uh, 
we were debating on adding community craft or computer craft to the BT mod pack. But then we're like, well, Flame can't use it. So why don't we just go with another mod pack uh, like Dire Wolf's? You know, Dire Wolf is a good mod pack. I know a lot of people actually don't stick around in or turn into their humanoid forms. They just kind of stick around and. Yeah, that happens a lot around here. There is a lot of floaty. Oh, hey, Turcoat. It's a party. Uh, there's a lot of floaty sand around here. I, I'm not sure why. It's just something with the world gen. But, uh,. Yeah, so we were debating on it, but then we're like, oh, well, Flame can't use it, so why don't we... Maybe I should keep as a bat in case I get stuck in a hole or something. God, that noise. <sighs> this would be easier if I had efficiency on my shovel, but I don't. I think my other shovel is just unbreaking, so it's kind of almost worthless. I've lost my train of thought on my story again. Though, those of you who have followed me a lot... Oh. That is probably Turcote. I would lay odds. Um, I... <laughs> yep, that's Turcote. He has his weird mutant dog-like thing. I don't even remember what it's called, but... Anyways... So we thought, well, why don't we go with like the Dire Wolf pack? And then we thought, and then we were looking around, and I'm like, you know what? The Dire Wolf has a couple of mods that I don't want because they're just too overpowered. We wanted this to be a more balanced server instead of having like really hardcore endgame stuff like Greg Tech, like the Gravy Armor and stuff like that. Um, one of the main things we didn't want was Greg Tech. Oh God, we hate Greg Tech. And the, the the Attack of the BP mod pack has, uh, uh, I don't know what mod it's called, but it's one that gives you, like, wicked amounts of ore. Like, it really cranks up the ore generation. So, like, I had chests and chests full of stuff in, like, two days. So, it was ridiculous. It was really overpowered. But it, I mean, I don't blame them for doing that because they wanted a building server, not a mining server. So I don't blame them for making that choice. And I agree with what they wanted. And I kind of agreed with it too. I actually argued to keep it um, because I wanted to build, not just to gather constantly. But... Uh, you know, they made good arguments against that, and they basically said, you know, we, it, it's a little overpowered. I'm like, yeah, okay, okay, so we'll get rid of that one. So we got rid of that one. Um, of course, Dire Wolf didn't have that mod pack, or that mod, that particular mod. I've got enough sand for now. Uh, hole in the wall. Seems pretty stable. Yeah, seems to be working better than the last version. We are on version 3.0 of our mod pack already. We've been doing this for like a week. We're already on 3.0 of our mod pack. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can see this is uh, definitely 1.6.4, right? Yeah, 1.6.4 because we have the rendering errors. We can see through the world. It's kind of annoying. Uh, let's throw this in my Rappa smelter. Boink. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this is a very, very tiny version of the smithy that I made on the vanilla server that I'll probably make again on this server because I could probably do it significantly better and less laggy with all the mods. But uh, this is just quick and dirty uh, coal or charcoal in this case. Goes in this, this chest and this chest. You got to manually split it. And then what you got to cook is in here. Gets filtered into the hoppers and then into the furni and then down into the large chest it's quick and dirty it's easy it works and it cooks my stuff twice as fast as the single furnace and i don't have to manually switch things of course i don't get access to the uh the experience but that's okay oh hey even adults here hey adult oh yeah by the way adults back 
Um, I don't know if I got told you guys, Adult left us for the um, Nebulous server. Yeah, that one. But he got kicked out. Nah, I kid. I kid. He, he, it, it was kind of a mutual kind of thing. Uh, basically, what it was is they required a certain number of videos to be put up in a certain amount of time. But the community on the Nebula server is lacking. I don't want to say it's bad because, well, I don't know. I'm not on the Nebula server. But uh, for what he's told me, it seems to be a little bit lacking. Like, uh, very few people ever actually logged on at any one time. But on the community mod or the community craft server, that's what the entire server is about. It's about community and bringing everybody together. Hell, that's our motto. Well, on the community craft server, the community mod server is, uh, it's about the community, but when the community fails, it's about being ready. <laughs> Basically kind of like, uh, you know, be prepared for war kind of thing. Yeah, that, that's the, that's the mo motto here. But anyways, uh, so he came back, uh, we got adult back. He wanted to come back. And since he didn't exactly leave on bad terms, he just said, Hey, you guys, um, I got offered a YouTube server, so nobody blamed him for it, so no worries there. And, uh, yeah, so Adult came back a little while ago. He wanted the more tightly knit community. And uh, I think I fucked that up on the community mod server. One of the big things that I did on the community craft server... Yeah, this is going to be one of those bouncy episodes where I bounce around stories and actually just bounce around while I'm talking and not really actually doing anything. Yes, okay, I'm building, but, you know, I was never good at this to begin with. Anyways, uh, on the community craft server, uh, I set a rule that basically said you had to build close to spawn. Uh, I mean, we had the whole plots thing and everything like that. I'm sure I showed those off. Where we had a specific section of map that you, that people were allowed to build in. Uh, that brought us really close together because we were all right there. What do I want to make for the roof? I want something dark. But I don't want, like, this dark wood here. I want something darker. Nether brick would be perfect but i don't have any i'd have to go through the nether and track down another fortress and then make it go away that's not necessarily easy especially in our nether holy crap uh yeah you can tell i've been mining a bit <laughs> uh i'm just looking around my chest seeing what i have to work with and the answer to that question is not much Though I do have micro blocks. Hmm. Yeah, to be 100% honest, I don't actually know what all's in our mod pack. Not a clue. We just have a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff. Uh, let's see. I believe it's over here. There's another portal, like, right around my place, so I never bothered making my own. But it's up on a slime island. And, of course, the render errors that I get all the time are a problem. Um, come on. Render in. Uh, I don't know what's a what actually causes those render issues. I guess it's going to be performance of my local PC. Um, I was watching an episode with Generic B. He suggested that it was a problem with, there it is, uh, internet connectivity. Because it happens on vanilla all the time. Uh, so he suggest. I know it's not a mod because of that. But he suggested it was internet connectivity. Look at what we got. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's not internet connectivity because the server that this is running on is about 15 feet away from me right now. It's on a local network. It's on a gigabit network. It's not internet connectivity. <laughs> Believe me, it's not. All right, down to the deathly, deathly, dangerous nether. Wait, do we have two nether portals? No, we have one. It just respawned. Whoa! Go away, go away, go away. I hate these things. I really, really hate these things. I really, really do. 
Okay, they don't seem to be as bad in the nether. In the overworld, I died like 12 times, or, well, not 12 times, because I've only got 9 on the list, but I died a bunch of times from them one-shotting me. What are these? I have no idea. What am I looking for? I'm looking for another fortress. Because I want another brick. Oh, well, that was convenient. <laughs> uh, ghost trees. It's slightly transparent trees. It's This is a fun mod pack. It's got a lot of neat stuff in the nether, even. It's got these really weird, creepy rib-like things. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but that's what I'm reminded of. I'm reminding of, reminded of ribs. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad we have this because the nether really needs it spiced up. There really was nothing in the nether normally. So now we got this, and I'm quite happy. Um, oh. I'm like, what did I bounce up on? What story was I in the middle of? I forget. I was in some. I was in the middle of like three, four different stories now, and I've completely lost track. Um, let's see. I was talking about adult, uh, but I think I finished that story because it's like, yeah, he came back. Um, let's see. We were talking about the mod pack. I'm a terrible storyteller. I need to like write notes or something. Or I need to do this after the fact, like just have a, like a mining episode and record the audio later. Or record the audio first and then record the mining later. That way I have the timing. Um, that's a blaze. This is a neat trick that you can't get in the uh, Feed the Beast, or the, the, the Attack of the BT mod pack. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Fire bat. Okay, so now I'm a fire bat. As we can see through my pixels. And if I am correct... Oh, well, I am incorrect. But at least I don't take fire damage anymore. <laughs> I need blaze rods anyways. Holy crap, so many pixels... Or so many... Wait, what are they called? Um, crap. Not pixels. Um, crap, what are they called? Particles, particles, yes, so many particles. You can make these go away so you don't see the flaming, but uh, I like keeping my particles on. Mostly because there are actually morphs that you can get into that are invisible if you have the particles off. So I pretty much hang out here, or I keep my particles on for that reason. Uh, no, what I was going to show you that failed was the fact that if you're in a hostile mob form... Hostile mobs don't attack you. Well, some of them do. Spiders do. Spiders are smart enough to see through disguises. But like zombies, you could be turned into you could be transformed into a zombie, walk right up to a zombie, bump into them, they do nothing. Um if you do it right, if you're in the right morph, uh you can actually attack hostile mobs and they won't attack you back. It's kind of interesting. It's kind of overpowered, too. It's, yeah. Um, it, leaving the morph mod in was a huge, huge debate for me. But uh, everybody said, you know, they wanted it. So I'm like, okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, getting a... a Getting the mod pack together was a giant, giant pain in the butt. But I thanked her coat because he was nice enough to put the mod pack together for us. Uh, I had failed miserably, miserably trying to get it to work. Uh, and he managed to do it. And he managed to do it in like a quarter of the time that I managed to fail at it. So good on you, man. Good on you. Uh, this is a Tekkit mod pack. So this isn't like... We install our own mod pack or anything like that. This is a Tekkit mod pack. Oh, this guy's got full lapis stuff. That's... I love that color. That is an awesome color. Is that blue or is that purple? I can't tell. I'm colorblind. And it doesn't help with all the flame in it. Yeah. Um, bat. Just transform into a bat. It's the same effect. I just don't have flames in my face. But yeah, that's an awesome thing. 
Hello, Mr. Zombie Pigman. I'm not going to attack you because I'd get my ass handed to me handedly. What is that sword, though? Um, it's not the same color as mine. Or is it? No, it is. Okay, so he's got a uh, sapphire sword and full lapis armor. Oh. Yeah, I have every intention of making a spawner, like a zombie spawner or something. Because you can get all kinds of armor from it. Um, I want to go home. There we go. Okay. It was apparently just lagging out for me. Um, that was creepy. Okay. Yeah. So uh, our mod pack has... What are we up to now? 114 mods or something like that? It's kind of insane. Uh, but it's available on TechIt. Uh, we decided that using either TechIt or FTB would be uh, preferable instead of forcing everybody to install it manually. Uh, so our mod pack is available on TechIt. And if I remember, I will really, really try to remember. I'll put the link in the description. So if you guys want it, you can get it. We have a lot of really cool mods on here. I don't know all of them off the top of my head, but we have Buildcraft, which was actually a pretty serious debate on adding Buildcraft or not because Buildcraft can be a little bit OP. Uh, IC2 was a big debate for me because it's seriously OP, but everybody wanted IC2, and... I wanted IC2 too. Uh, I'll admit, I wanted IC2. Uh, we got the uh, Project Red mod, which is Red Power, just split off into like four or five mods and taken over by like four or five different people because Red Power was a big and complex mod. It was an amazing mod, but uh, the person who was doing it couldn't keep up anymore because it was so complicated and, you know, uh, uh, Mojang kept changing everything. Yeah. So uh, they it got split up, and now it's Project Red with a bunch of different things on it. Um, I don't know all of the stuff we have. We have Applied Energistics, um, which was another big debate because it's a computer there. That is a big, big thing. Uh, but it's also very, very end game and extremely expensive. So I'm thinking it evens out a little bit. Um, let's see. Buildcraft. We have R ARS Magica or Ars Magica or however you pronounce it. I know nothing about this mod. So I'm going to have fun with that. Agriculture, which gives us all kinds of food. Insane, insane amounts of food. Um, Bibliocraft. I got my Bibliocraft. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I haven't built anything on this server yet because I was waiting for you guys. All I did was very, very basic stuff. Um, yes, okay, I lined my entire cave with marble, and I started playing with a few of the really cool blocks. Um, let's see, what is that? That block... Oh, go away. Thank you. Okay, that block is this block, the Ventium block. Um... And then this block there, that's blue topaz, which I have a bunch of. Because uh, I really, really liked how the block looked. I do. Um, but yeah, I went mining pretty seriously. I played a little bit with the turtle and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to save building and learning about all the new mods for you guys. So I'll, I'll be doing stuff off camera, but it won't be any of the big stuff. If I go, if I have a project that I want to work on, that'll be with you guys. I won't, you know, because one of the big draws to my channel is um, the learning aspect, specifically learning with Chrono. Uh, that's that's the big draw of my channel is the learning with Chrono stuff. I am going to have to get more nether brick so I can use the micro block so I can finish making this house. Uh, no, this is not going to be my final house. It's just a house I'm building. Why? Shits and giggles? 
I like building houses. Like a whole bunch of little ti- little houses all crammed together in a village style thing is just really cool looking. I like it a lot. So that's what I do. Um, but uh, I like micro blocks because I can I can put a trim here, but it only has to be like a quarter of a block instead of a whole, you know, stair or something or a slab or whatever. Did I catch that? I apparently catch, caught that. But, uh, yeah, so that that's about it. Um, what else is there? Well, we have an ass load of mods that I'm going to be learning. Uh, we got Tinker's Construct, which I've got to learn. And uh, is going to be a little complicated. We have a bit of a memory issue. Um <laughs> with this mod pack we're working on it we are working on it uh but we took care of all of the world destroying mod or uh errors in version 1.1 i believe uh we haven't had anything absolutely dis- devastate the server which is awesome but we got a lot of things cleaned up and it's pretty cool and uh, a lot of things are disabled like we don't have any chunk loaders I I really wanted that. Uh, no chunk loaders at all. One, because it's kind of a RAM thing. And two, because you could set something to do something and then leave. You didn't have to be logged in. You didn't even have to be in the area. And uh, yeah, so uh, I figure that takes care of a lot of the balance issues, just leaving out any chunk loaders. I hope it does anyways. But uh, so, no, we have no chunk loaders whatsoever. Um, oh, but we have Steve Carts, but Steve Carts doesn't have its chunk loader either. So, yeah. Um, at least I don't think it has its chunk loader. The recipe should have been disabled in the config. Uh, so, anyways. Um, Yeah, I mean, from here on, you can tell what I'm doing with the building thing as long as I can actually hit the target. I like being a bat. I like being able to fly while building. It makes life so much easier to build. And uh, anyway, so we're getting on in our videos, and this was mostly an introductory video. We'll start getting into the really fun stuff later on uh, with, like, uh, the, the Project Red and all of the really amazing stuff that we have. We have Thomcraft, I know that. Uh, Railcraft, I was really excited that we got Railcraft. Eee. I am really happy that we got Railcraft. Um, what else do we got? Let's see, I'm going to pop those because I like putting half slabs, uh, the, the micro block slabs of the uh, whatever I'm making the roof out of as like a little strip. And then I use whatever uh, slabs of whatever I'm making the wall out of as another strip there so it just looks like there's this small strip and i i like the look of it so i'm gonna have to tear that out but that's okay i can do that later so anyways uh yeah buttload of mod don't know i don't know all the mods uh turcote who built this bloody pack doesn't know all the mods oh wow i was pretty close on another brick i'm glad i did all those stairs but, uh, yeah, I, I'll go mine nether brick later, and you guys don't have to watch that. So, uh, I say if you want to download the mod pack, it's on the TechIt website. If I'm not smart enough to put a link in the description, all you have to do is go to the TechIt website, go to mod browse mod packs, and type in community mod. It's the only one there. But, yeah, so I am going to end the episode here. I will finish up my little house off off camera and I don't know what I'll do next episode or yeah, next episode. But yeah. Um so I will see you guys in the next episode and as always, keep playing the game and have fun. <laughs>